Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Now that my two obligatory informative videos are done for the day, it's time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. And some people have aware of me that Jerry Ward, Jerry Ward has made a video calling into question whether Dan the Bodybuilder, which you know, I covered the other day, uh, I linked his video, linked Johnny Bravo's video, called into question if it might be a scam or not. Now, I'm not going to put on the Cocoa Puff today because I want to keep this one serious. But I will say that um, Jerry did say in the video, you know, a lot of people don't think like I do. And that's true. That is a fact. I'm not going to deny that. So let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing. Work on skill at my crafting a little bit. And let's talk about this. Man, um, what a situation. Because we have a situation now to where Jerry, based upon information he's got and other stuff, is calling into question if this guy, Dan, is actually uh, scamming people. If his GoFundMe is a hustle, it's a scam. Obviously, Johnny Bravo believes him. Um, me, personally, I don't know what to believe. Like I said before, I told people earlier, if you if you feel inclined to donate and help the guy, that's your business. I, I linked his, his uh, channel so you guys can check it out and decide for yourselves. Uh, I'm ambivalent on it, personally. Um, but, you know, the, the thing is, though, I'm not going to tell people, though, to not donate to, to a cause like that. If they feel in their heart that that's what they need to donate to, then I'm not going to tell them not to. So, I mean, I link it let people decide for themselves. But I'm not going to encourage it by that same token either. Um, I, I guess my only my only problem with the, this whole situation, though, with, with Jerry calling it into question, and I'm not even saying he's wrong. I'm not even saying he's wrong. It's just that if that encourages people not to donate and they really did want to donate and the guy's life can be saved or his leg can be saved and then people maybe change their minds who were going to donate because of that, I don't know. I, I don't know if that puts out the best... Um, the best energy out there. And, and look, I don't know what people believe. I don't know if any of you believe in God or karma or anything else. I'm just not sure that that's the best energy or message to put out there. I, I would say, honestly, with something like that, you guys have to kind of explore your own heart, maybe pray, decide what you want to do with the situation, if you think it's a worthy cause or not. I mean, this is, I don't think it's my place to say. Um, I do get concerned, though, if someone suggests something is a scam, um, if it actually turns out not to be, and then the person might genuinely need help, they ask for it and people were going to give, uh, that, that's a concern. But I do understand that concern uh, because of the way things are on the internet. And, and, you know, Jerry brought up some good points. He brought up some really good points about, uh, again, it being in Colombia, the drugs and everything else down there. The rumors that it could involve him owing large sums of money to people down in Colombia. Um, then you had... Johnny bring Dr. Tony Huge on. Um, now, the thing is, I'm not a fan of, of Tony, though. I think Tony's a degenerate. I don't place a lot of value on, on his word. I just don't. Um, that's how I feel about it. That's, that's my perspective. You know, by that same token, though, Tony is his ball and hard claim. This is his friend. If he could always donate if he wanted to. Um, and I don't know if he, he donated or not. And I think the way that he worded it on, on Johnny's video was that... If Dan is the guy that he remembers, if he was a guy he used to be, which he doesn't know that, the guy he used to be, he couldn't see him scamming. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. But I really don't know. Uh, I don't know. And and I know Jerry brought up the point of, hey, if this was me in this situation, I would be doing everything in my power to put the proof out there. Um, the only problem is, uh, is that we fall into so much hearsay. This is the problem we run into with proof on the internet. Uh, we run into hearsay of, well... This person said they would give X or Y proof, and that's not necessarily what they promise. It's not necessarily what they have or what they can get. And sometimes legitimate proof is not accepted. I mean, case in point, um, which I thought was ridiculous. I know for me in one case, I, I was actually requested, and this was for a financial thing, that, that Lane Norton promised X amount of money if I produced uh, X evidence. Uh, and I did. I produced actual real evidence. It actually wasn't fake. It wasn't BS in any way. Um, so it's kind of funny that that happened. I mean, I've seen it happen to where people don't accept what is actually legitimate proof, the best piece of proof you could come up with, which was notarized by a bank manager. So I actually had something that was, I didn't fake, I didn't didn't tamper with, I didn't alter, I didn't do anything uh, unethical with. It was actually a legitimate piece of proof. I had it signed off by a bank manager and uh, it was rejected as proof. And you know what? That's been my own experience with that, is that people will flat reject something that is a legitimate piece of proof that would stand in court, 
that was actually honest and real proof of something you weren't making up, you weren't lying about, you were being 100% honest about, there are times when you could actually produce notarized evidence uh, that would be re reasonable evidence even in a court of law, right? And then the internet says, no, nope, that's fake, it's Photoshop, it's forgery. So at a certain point though, you do have to step back and go, when it comes to the internet, what in the hell can you possibly do? You know, there there is a threshold where people are gonna call something a fake or a scam on the internet, even when it is actual, real, notarized proof that actually is real, isn't fake, isn't BS, um, that they'll still call scam on you. I mean, I've personally had it done to me, and so, I mean, I know these things happen, and I'm not even worried about it, it wasn't a big deal, because I thought the whole thing was comical. I thought it was a joke and a farce from day one, like the situation with mine, and I knew that. I knew that money wasn't gonna happen. I, I knew 90% chance that was never gonna happen, even if I was honest and produced the real evidence, and, and in my case, I did, but I did that knowing it wasn't gonna fall through. So I wasn't even really disappointed uh, but it did kind of make me laugh at the integrity of uh, other people involved when I actually <laughs> produced real evidence and real proof of the truth, and it was rejected. So, you know, what, what do you do at that point? And that's what I would say with that, is that even if this guy does put stuff up, um, I think what Jerry had said is that the longer he waits, the more likely people are going to be to reject it. I don't know if that's true. Um, I think people are going to reject it anyways. But... Does the point still stand that when it comes to something like when you're asking for, for thousands of dollars in donations or something, we're talking about significant sums of money. Um, is there, it, would it be a good idea? Would it be in your best interest to produce a reasonable level of evidence? Yeah, it, it would be. It would be a real good idea. And it's not because it's going to be accepted as absolute proof. Because guys, proof that, again, proof that will stand even in a court of law for something isn't always going to stand as proof on the internet. That's just the way the internet works. People are always going to be skeptical of something. Um, and, and that's the nature of it. You have to accept that. But it would behoove him to do that. It would probably be a good idea. It would probably be in his best interest to do so. Um, so, I mean, I would agree with Jerry on that. I would agree with Jerry on that. And, and in all honesty, I think there's a very real possibility the guy's being honest. Am I convinced it's not a scam? No. But I think it's a, pr a pretty decent possibility that it's real. Because um, I know how bodybuilders are. I know how they get in these situations. Uh, we see these things happen. And so it's probably real. However, by that same token, you know, I'm also not sympathetic for people hopping off to foreign countries and injecting drugs in their body. They're getting in a foreign country while living abroad in non first world countries and things. You know, it, it, it's a little bit different if you're going to an industrialized country that is, is pretty top, top of the line and you're going to have access to medical care. But when you're hopping over to places like Colombia, Thailand, places like that, and you start injecting drugs into your body you're getting in those countries, and then, you know, something goes wrong, probably not a good idea. So by, by that one token, I'm like, well, not necessarily particularly sympathetic in that regard. Um, I do understand that we're talking about a set of substances in this case that I personally think should be decriminalized. That's my opinion on it. I think it should be decriminalized in the U.S., um, they would prevent a lot of these problems uh, like this from even happening. So I'm, I'm sympathetic in that regard from a, like a political and a philosophical perspective. But by that same token, you know, when we're talking about a bunch of bodybuilding degenerates hopping over overseas to put cheap drugs in their body. You know, and then goofing off in some of these other countries, I don't know what to think. I mean, by the same token, he's going to go hang down in Colombia. I mean, let's be realistic here. What, what real reason do you have to go party down in Colombia? Um, so that's kind of part of where I do go, well, there's a possibility it's a scam. So that, that's why I'm kind of torn in the middle. I don't really have an opinion on it. Uh, but I do think that the, we've got these different conflicting viewpoints. And I think that's interesting. Like I said, I'm, I'm personally skeptical. But by that same token, um, I mean, if people feel in their heart they need to donate to something, then by all means donate to something that's a, that you think is a good cause if you have the money to spare. You know, that's what it comes down to. Uh, you all have to decide for yourselves what you think is a good cause with your, your surplus income and what you have to spare to give to, to worthy causes. And if you think that's a worthy cause, go ahead and do so. Um, but would I be inclined to agree? It would probably be in his best interest at this point with accusations of scams to, to put forward a reasonable level of evidence that he, he has broke his bank account. Um, a receipt from the hospital, like like has been requested, you know, with a doctor, someone signing off on it, saying, "Yeah, we did bill him this much, we charged him this much. This is what he had to pay, drained his savings." 
Uh, I don't think that would be unreasonable. It would be in his best interest to do so at this point. And yeah, I would urge Dan to do that. Also, just realistically, man, if you really want people to donate to you, um, it would be a real good idea if you did that. It, it would only serve to help you, right? It would only serve to help you. Um, at least at least for people who are on the fence. People who think that you're scamming or they don't want to help you, they're not going to help you. Uh, people who decided they're going to help you, they're going to do it. But if you've got a few people who are on the fence and they're like, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe this guy's going to scam me as it's common on the internet, um, I think it'd be, it'd be in your best interest to, in a good faith effort, put forward a little bit of evidence. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm not telling you that's what you have to do, uh, but it would be a pretty good idea if he did that at this point. I would, I would agree with that point. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.